pitfall number seven is back to overfitting. So back to overfitting, of course, when the test set is utilized multiple times, right? You, let's say, come up with a model, run a back test. It doesn't look good. Then you go back, change the model, run the back test. Now it looks a little better, change something. And you do that multiple times until eventually you end up with a back test that looks good. Well, that's not a good approach. If you do that, essentially, you are engaging what is called in statistics, multiple testing. And multiple testing means that you can achieve any sharp ratio, any p-value that you want just by increasing the number of trials, even if there is no predictive model, no predictive power in the model. There is a way of addressing this, several ways, but one of them is that you want to, to keep track of the number of independent back tests that you have conducted. So this is the variable K here, and there are statistical ways of estimating the, the number of independent back tests that you have conducted. And the second one is, what is the variance across the sharp ratios that you have estimated? And once you do that, now you know what is expected value of the maximum sharp ratio. Your model needs to beat that value. Right? Essentially, now your threshold is no longer, let's say, that the sharp ratio needs to be statistically significant greater than zero. Now, as your number of trials has increased, the more trials, the higher is your hurdle, and you need to make sure that the sharp ratio that you obtain in your back test overcomes that threshold. All right, so that's one way to compute what is called the deflated sharp ratio.